I started playing cricket when I was about six or seven years old. I used to play at my local cricket club with my older brothers, half brothers. And yeah, I just kind of got into it by, by following and, and watching them most of the time. But uh, I just wanted to play with my friends originally. I, I just wanted to follow my friends, be social. That's what started me on my uh, cricketing journey. I started firstly at Aston Manor Cricket Club, then I moved to Warmley Cricket Club, then I finally made it to uh, Warwickshire and became a professional cricketer. And that was the dream really, to become a Warwickshire player uh, and play at Edgbaston Stadium, which was a local stadium for me. To be honest, I didn't really think any further than that. Uh, and obviously I started playing reasonably well for, for Warwickshire, uh, did pretty well and, uh, and moved through the ranks and finally got to, to play for England and since then it's just been a blur to be honest with you. You're just constantly going from one game to the next and concentrating on your cricket and then you find yourself playing cricket all over the world. I think the franchise world has been, you know, very, for me, it's been able to kind of tap into different coaches, into different players, into different mindsets, how the game is played. Uh, and I think that's helped me become a better T20 player. Um, absolutely. And obviously now here with, with the Sharj Warriors in a new competition, the ILT20, really exciting time to, to be a part of this new competition. Originally it was to play football. Uh, I didn't first pick up a bat or pick up a ball and have a bowl. Um, but once I started playing cricket, I was 100% wanted to be a bowler, but I did enjoy playing as a batsman in the backyard, uh, in the back garden. That was always quite enjoyable. You know, I've certainly had my ups and downs as a player. I've had my injuries along the way as well, and I think as a fast bowler, you're always going to occasionally pick up the odd injury here or there. But I think I've always had the mindset of just wanting to always get back to my best. So it's going to be hard work. You're going to have some dark days, uh, but finally, if you keep working hard, you'll get back to where you where you want to be. most inspiring warrior in my life, I think I'd probably just have to choose my parents, really. Um, I think they've, they, you know, I feel like they've brought me up in, in the way that I want to, to be as a, as a parent now myself. My parents gave me everything that they possibly could. They worked hard. Um, and then finally, you know, I think, you know, you, you want people to be look, looking up to and, you know, I certainly look up to, to my parents. So, yeah, they're my warriors. But I think if I had to choose, choose one warrior moment, I think it would always be the 2019 World Cup win. Um, you know, such a big win for us as a team. You know, that was, that was my warrior moment, I think, throughout my career. My warrior message would be to never think that it's going to be easy. It's always going to be quite difficult at times, but you can kind of push through the barrier, push through the hard times, and there'll be good times around the corner.